This is the 21st um, year of the Athena Awards, and the Chamber is thrilled to once again be um, supporting and honoring these women, men, and businesses in our community. So thank you for being with us here to celebrate. We've all he heard about the glass ceiling, uh, that invisible barrier that stops women from achieving uh, those high-powered positions in careers. Well, it's not always a case of bias. And so it becomes very important for us to be able to, in some way, motivate women and mentor them. Because the bottom line is, it's mentoring that makes a difference. This year's recipient is Kreuzler Wash, Compiani, and Vargas. And Jane, please come up and accept the award. I also want to give special recognition to our retired office manager, Barbara Lee, who most of you probably know. Barbara taught me the importance of women supporting other women and of giving back to our community. And this year, the young professional recipient, Athena recipient, Kristen Calder. Your efforts in recognizing outstanding women today for not only being successful, but for giving unselfishly to share their time and their talents is so important for the betterment of our community. Because being good is commendable, but only when it is combined with doing good is it useful. As always, I ask past individual recipients of the Athena to stand, please, and welcome Pamela Rausch. It is an amazing honor to be an Athena Award recipient. You know, it was just 24 years ago when I first arrived in this town for my first job out of law school, and I really didn't know anything about this community um, or what was in store for me, except that I had a really good feeling about it and hoped that there would be a place for me. I get to go to work every day with people who are not just my colleagues, but my friends who I can count on and trust, and we are always a team. So